Welcome to Queen of the Palace. I'm here with this week's bowlers. To my left, after last week defeating the reigning queen, uh, the number three seed, Andrea Padgetton. Welcome back. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Uh, great scores last week, 163-100. How do you feel about your bowling? I think I did really great, and I just hope that I can keep up with it again this week. Well, good luck, because it's not going to get any easy for you, because no stranger to Queen of the Palace, uh, any TV show, number two seed with a roll-off score of 633, Jessica Stockton. Welcome back. Thanks, Dennis. It's good to be uh, here. What are your thoughts about bowling against Andrea after throwing that monster string last week? I, I just need to bowl well and see what happens. <laughs> well, um, you're no stranger, so uh, you know you have to do. Good luck to you. Good luck to you. I'll see one of you in the 11th box. Up first on alley three, Jessica Stockton. Veteran candle pin lady bowler. Very explosive. Yep, left-handed. No Fair. stranger to us. No? No. Nope. Three-step approach, she nice curve ball, found the head pin, and She stuck. was an advocate for the, the women to come out yes. against. Yes, yes. You know, she did I everything did. in her power to uh, bring the women out. Leaves the 6-10. And she was just here for the uh, mixed doubles. Yep, so you know, when somebody like that asks um, and, and loves bowling and pours her heart into it, then... We welcome it. Yep. We do what we can. Uh, just as average is, uh, she comes from Lynn Mass, her qualifying score is a 633. Uh, her average is a 106. She's been bowling for 32 years. Her high single is a 181. Her high trip is a 414. Well, I, I was there that night. A little disappointed people, I think, missing that spare, but she'll bounce back. Just great ball. Found the hit. Oh, Ooh. look at this. The spread eagle minus the talon. Uh, I can't say I blame you, Jess. She a little bit up, a little bit wound up on that one. Threw a beautiful ball, and look what she gets, people. They just never know. No, oh, you got to shoot the three in the right. Thank you, thank you very much to everybody for tuning in to oh. the Queen of the Palace. Now look at this. Had five pins up, hits one, and what she get for a lead, Dennis David? The double pinnacle. Prune juice for everyone. She's thrown two perfect, in my opinion, two perfect balls, and is looking at it. Most of 10 block and gets an eight. How does that happen? 18 for two for the start. Up now on alley three. Newcomer, <laughs> Andrea Padgington, who last week defeated reigning champ, now former champ, Becca Vestal, with an opening match score of 163. Unbelievable. That is her new high. Uh, her average is an 82. Her qualifying score is a 595. Uh, she comes from Townsend, Mass. She's been bowling for 12 years. Her high single is a 163. And her high trip is a 352. Well, people, we saw it. Dennis, David, we saw it last week. Yours truly, eight marks out of 10 boxes. Unbelievable bowling. Unbelievable. Well, unfortunately, she just started to start with a seven box. We didn't want that, but we'll see what things happens. We had to set it and forget it. Yes, yeah. exactly. Wants the head pin now. Found it. Oh, look at this mess. Four, five, eight, ten. Well, got to do something here, Andrea. Oh, nice try. Okay, pick one out of the two. Get a nine box. Thank you to Drum Machine and Bowler 97. Thank you for your comments. Oh, just missed. Okay. Like I said, I'm trying. We have tons of shout outs to get to. I'm trying to get as much as I can in, but I don't want to take away from the bowling. Well, do the nope. best you can, Dennis. Yep. Okay, just stocking up on lane number three. Thank you for all your comments on YouTube, Facebook. Uh, Dennis usually answers them on YouTube, and I usually answer everybody on Facebook. Oh, pulls it right. Half wish the right people. Well, it'll throw the strike ball to make the spare. See what happens. 
And on September 24th, King of the Palace returns with the scratch match. That's February 24th. February, February 24th. What did I say, Jen? That's oh. September. Oh, look at this, oh, people. Beautiful. You've got a right to be excited, Jess. Excellent, excellent candle February 24th. Shot. I don't know why I keep saying September 24th. Yeah, what, what is it? Yeah, I know. I noticed that's the I think, second I, time. I think I'm just looking for the warmer weather. Yeah. Ah. Just stocking people just made a half whistle right. Excellent candle pin shot. Excellent bowling on that. Okay. Oh, leaves the seven pin. Even she thought she was going to oh, wreck it. She thought she had the strike. I can't blame you, Jess. No, she's left the seven pin up for the spare. The seven pin by itself, known as the corner of the building shot. Just bowls in the Exeter once a month league. Oh, All over it. it. All over it. Back, back to back spares. Punched it right in the face. In the face. Shout out to Chris Harris. Finally a mixed event. Can't wait to try out for the show. I'm sure it'll be a great time at this awesome house. Not to mention I've been told my ball would decimate this house. Keep up the great work. Boys. Ooh, half Worcester right. If that's a Chris Harris, I think it is. Yes, your ball would decimate this house. He is a fantastic candlepin bowler. We almost had back to back. Well, two out of three boxes with the half Worcester made. Very difficult spare. Oh, 10 bucks. Nice yeah. 10 bucks. Nice 10. You know, it's getting back on it here. And it was legal because she did hit the um, yep. playable wood before the dead wood was hit. So it does count. <laughs> Shout out to GDR 1976. Phil Clough in the background with a pretty epic beard. Uh, oh, there you go, uh, Steve. No, no, no. Look, uh, the Dread Eagle. How does that happen, people? Talking about Phil Clough, great competitor, great candlepin bowler. He would go crazy on this, too. Ooh, right Ooh. through the heart. The Fred Eagle. Who wants to even look at this? I, uh, Jesus. Uh, all right, Andrew, try to get three, dear. Ooh. Wow. We've got away from Big curve on that one. Yeah. So after four, Andrea Padgington at 48, Jessica Stockton at 47. Give, a, on a, spin. give a shout out to our sponsors, North End Mazda Subaru Lindbergh Bass. Visit buynorthend.com or visit them in person and see Marty Babineau and his excellent sales staff on a new or pre owned Mazda or Subaru. Also, go to YouTube, type in Watch Me Suck at Bowling, and watch my good friend George do parodies on candle pin bowling, duck pin bowling, and yes, even 10 pin bowling. Nope, just missed the head pin. Goes over at six. Paul Hosman left. Piece of wood in the back. I don't think it's going to be a helpful or a hindrance. Uh, no, that shouldn't be. Yeah. Just split it, run yeah. the line. Should be all right. And she did. There you go. You call that one, Dennis. She's three got in three in a row. Three marks in candle pin bowling in succession. Three in a row. It's three in a row on. Nope. Turkey, <laughs> turkey strikes. Well, I disagree with you, but. We'll, we'll, we'll line it up sometime. <laughs> no, you will. <won't. laughs> <laughs> I'm set my ways. I yeah, agree. No kidding. What do we call four in a row if she gets one, Dennis? Four in a row. Four bagger. Four, four bagger from strikes. Strikes. No. Four in a row is a uh, ego. Seven Phil puts right. You agree with that? You agree with that one? I do not. You don't think four in a row is called an ego? No, I think it's four in a row. <laughs> oh, boy, you're really busting me today, buddy. Huh? I got nothing. I'm staying out of this one. <laughs> <laughs> what do we call five in a row? Five in a row. It's called a badge. <laughs> Let's see how Jess does right here. Come on, come on, come on. Yes. Oh. Just a little too rough. She needed to split those to have a better yeah. shot at it. Yeah, I think that's what you, she was aiming for. I just didn't get, get there. Okay. Jess's favorite shot is any cut shot. Oh. And what's her least favorite shot? The four horsemen. Oh. Which she just made for a spare. Okay. Go figure. Unbelievable. Shout out to Matt Bilski. Uh, nice bowling. Uh, I like this, men and women bowling against each other. I really enjoy watching these shows. Keep up. Great work. Thank you. Matt Bilski from Coventry, Rhode Island. Oh, yeah. Thank you very much. Oh. Andrea nails the head pin, leaves the 5, 8, 9, 10. I have no idea what to do with that front wood, Dennis. Any way you angle it. That's bad wood. Yeah. I, would, I would try to avoid a play to the left. Oh, she's Split going. It. Go. Wow. <laughs> People, did you see that? The ball hit the piece of dead wood, then it went between the five and the eight, the five, and not one pin went down. Wow, that was amazing. But where else, Dennis? Where else? Candle pin bowl. Damn. <laughs> we always see something that's, 
the fight so much. Jason Marsters writes, I'm Tom Bobber's number three fan. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the first one? <laughs> Thank you for your comments. Oh, Andrea has to dial it back in. Yeah, yeah. She's, she's lost her trajectory. All right, throw the, throw the strike ball here to get the spare. Christos Vince, Vincent said <laughs> Phil Clough's got some super beard going on. <laughs> Everyone loves Phil's beard. No, it, it's, a, it, it, it's a classic. Andrea's way off. She has to come out of this with at least an eight or a nine. Yeah. Got to get the head pin, Andrea. Got to get the head pin. Uh, got a seven. Okay. Hey, not, not bad. Not bad, considering. So after six, Andrea Padgington at 61, Jessica Stockton at 78. It's a deficit. 17, 17 difference. With four to go. Okay, just Stockton. Waiting up. in the wings. No stranger to any TV show or anybody anywhere is Tina Ward. Uh, yep. Number one seed. Uh, number one seed for the tournament. Okay, just Stockton up. Lane number three. Box number seven. String number one. Oh, a little extra time here, Dennis. A lot on the line right yeah. now. Zeroing in on that hit. Found it. Oh, look at this. Wow. Well, she she well, she's right one less shoot for the spin. Four, five, seven. I hate this shot. Mm. What a passion. I hate this Where are you going? Cap the wood left, yes. way left, or no. way way? I put it in between the four and the five pin on that piece, so dead wood on the tip. No, I'm going way. Well, well okay. And right where she's playing. Oh, a little too close. Want to go a little more right. Bounce it out. When Jess is not bowling, she uh, is a driver for Amazon. Right. What the heck's wrong with the boys? <laughs> <laughs> wow. You having a stroke? You all right? No, I'm all right. I'm good. Fast. Can you hope you could get out and get one of those trucks and come the devil there? Ooh, Chuck, look at the blow. Run to the storm cups. Run. She also uh, enjoys movies, binge watching on Netflix, and spending time with the girlfriend. Raina. Raina. Okay, up on lane number four, box number eight. Oh, no, good oh, ride. Ah, threw that one in the ocean, and Come she on. might get oh, a break. Oh, go, go, keep falling. Not a bad break at all, actually. Leaves the 138. Just drill the head pin, just. I would say. I, I got to say something, Steve. You, you're doing pretty well with the, the pin numbers recently. I got to congratulate. Thank you. Thank you. Come on, Jess. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah, I, I give just it me. and I take it away. So there's a compliment. There'll be a no, 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 I, I know that. I mean, that's a, <laughs> no truer words have been spoken. Okay. And ooh. Wow. Could Come be on. 10. Jeez, I thought that was an Could easy be a nine. Nine bucks. Okay. Shout out to Nick Lang and John Smith again, if that's your real name. Super Why do you keep saying that? <laughs> John Smith. That's the common name people use when they don't want to use their own name. That's oh. the most common pseudonym name. There you go, oh, Andrew. Andrew with a nine pin drop. Leaves the, the five pin, or in Steve's world, the king pin. Mm. Now, where are you going? This is actually kind of ugly. You'd have to cap this. Yeah. Straight at it like Straight a sniper. There you go, like that. Oh, there you go. she got it. Nice First shot, Andrea. Nice shot. Very difficult. That'll throw it straight down the lane. And she just boxed us up to that, so she definitely needed it. Oh, that. she needs a big mark here. Big, excuse me, big fell on the mark. Come on, Andrea. Come on. Come on, Andrea. Oh, Ooh. didn't want that. That's not a pretty fill. No. no. Just going to deliver it. Yeah. Gonna throw that bounce back ball, that's all. <clears throat> well, that's frustrating, Dennis. You know, you yes. make a nice spear and let this, the field ball get away from you. It happens to us all. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's candle pin bowling. One, three, seven for 10 bucks. Very difficult. No, wide left. Oh. Got nine. Left the finger. Nine, nine with a wiggle. After eight, Andrea Padgington at 81, Jessica Stockton at 96. Deficit of 15. 15 pins. Two boxes of gold. Box number nine, lane number three, string number one. The ninth box in can open bowling, better known as the foundation box. Thank you. Oh, actually, Belfast was from Maine. Belfast, Maine, not Belfast Island. Oh. Freddie Stone. Oh, Belfast on Island sounded better. Oh, we can still call it if you want. <laughs> oh, oh, no. <laughs> well, you see, I, 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 when I first saw it, I'm like, huh. We got the five. I thought of Belfast, Maine. We got the five, nine, <laughs> ten. <laughs> <laughs> I'm laughing at something over here. I want to see if Jess makes a shot. Yeah, this, this is a difficult shot, people. He nailed it. Oh, oh yeah. Right at, went right at the 
Red line, nailed it. Nice shot, Jim. Nice what shot. What if I used to describe as like, cool, Santa Claus likes to bowl when it's not Christmas from California. Cap <laughs> Cap Cabellin Games and Hobbies. <laughs> I'm assuming they mean Phil Clough. <laughs> well, thank you for your comments. Jonathan Moe's back. A couple comments. Tom Riley again. Thank you. Oh, Look at back this. Back it. Oh. Maybe. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, the strip of ball just, took it down. Just stalked and appealing to the, the bowling guard. Looks up in the sky, smiles. She didn't even know it went. I think she was swearing at the bowling guard. <laughs> what you be originally because it didn't fall down. Now it does. Unbelievable. I think she was giving the bowling guard the middle finger. Candle pin bowling people. Where else? Probably. <laughs> Unbelievable. Just incredible, incredible action. You never know what's going to happen. And thank you to our 697 subscribers. Ooh. Thank you to each and every one of you. Get another ball, Jeff. That's why you get another ball. Shoot for eight and nine. Got to deliver. Throw the strike ball to get the spare. Or uh, to get a good count. What do you consider a good count on a mark? Seven? Eight or better. Eight, eight or better. Eight or better. Eight or better. I'm going to strike you. Yeah. Spare probably. Ooh. 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 That one got That's away. okay. Still throws a 129 strike. Excellent. Excellent. Game up and bowling. Oh, Andrea Padgett can get her fourth cut off for her. She's she 19, 48 for two, right to tie. She needs 48 pins just to tie. Oh, yeah, which means a double strike. But she can do it. Oh, definitely. But her ball oh. is working. Just missed again. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Bang. Okay, that helps. Oh, that's beautiful tennis. wood right there, too. Yep. That's perfect. Plow the road. Piece of wood right up against the pin with no distance is called Bondwood. All she's got to do, hopefully, is nail it and... Oh, she just capped it. Had to go straight on. Yeah, she's smiling. Just didn't deliver. Clean this up for a 10 box. Mm -hmm. She does. Mm -hmm. Nice 10. Okay, one more to go. Down 25, facing the strike three. Adam Lemberis, this match featured my cousin Jessica Stockton. Very proud of her. Hey, Adam. Okay, go. Wide left and K right. Left. Got left right. Got to throw the strike ball to get the spare. And maybe. No. She's just off. Yeah, she's a little bit off. Yeah, she's off. Dialing yeah. in for the next string. Yeah. She's got to come out shooting. Again, thank you to Max Brandon, Super Suzuki Maniac, for your comments. We appreciate them all. So Andy throws a 98 string to Jess Jessica Stockton's 129. 31 pin lead for Jessica going into the second string. Mark stole the difference, Dennis. Yeah, Jessica yeah, has four six. spares and a strike, and Andrea only has one spare. All right, time for Andrea to turn on the juice. Yeah. A little more concentration here, Dennis David. A little more time. Well, Let's see what happens. Lot, so yeah. she needs to dial it in. Oh, found it. Nice found it. Found it. Come oh, on, fall down. Okay, good. Roll it over. Need this. Got to get this five pin, Andrea, to get going. Come on now. Thank you to Jason Dando and Rudy Uloa. Again, Rudy. Rudy. Haven't seen. Haven't heard from Rudy in a Rudy, long time. Rudy Patuti. Nice shot. Nice. Nice, nice the spare. Nice start, Andrea. Now you got to bang the head pin, Andrea. You got to get eight, nine, or ten. She got to throw that ball like she did last week. It should be just fine. I want to thank everybody out in YouTube land, Facebook, and on local access. And if you want the king of the palace in your neck of the woods, Dennis, run it down for him. I don't want to run. I'm tired. <laughs> well, I, f I figured run it down. I mean, you do drive a mail truck, so. Break it down. All right. Uh, just contact your local public access provider. Tell them you want king of the palace in your neighborhood. Uh, you fill out a piece of paper. It doesn't cost you anything. They contact us. We stream it to them, and there you go. Yeah, Simple yeah, yeah. as that. Yep, yep. And if you know anybody in the major network areas, tell them, hey, the work's all done for you. Just... Put it on TV. That's right. Or if you want to sponsor the show, shoot us an email. email. Absolutely. Got that Mazda Subaru gets a lot of calls from our shows. So that could be your business getting a lot of uh, publicity. We're seen all over the world. That's absolutely correct. Okay. This is to... very true. And if you are on YouTube and you are leaving your comments or even on Facebook, let us know where you're watching. And let's see if we can't hit all 50 states. Oh. Wow. Look at, how did she leave the 5, 8, 9? 
The 578 with that pocket hit on the left side, well, Dennis. Luckily, well, she has some wood. Yeah, but the ball was on the in, in the pocket on, on that side. Yeah, I know. I, 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 I got no comment. Ooh, that's a first. No, I'll, I, I, just, <laughs> I just don't understand how it can happen. How does that happen? I'll tell you how it happens. She need a hit. Yeah, but where did the ball go? Angle of deflection in the back. Ooh. Nine box for Jess. Becca. Uh, let's see. 27 pin lead for Jessica right now. Box to box. Uh, Jess would like everybody to know that she spent time making an all-female ladder on classic candle pins. Do you know who her opponent was? I do not. I believe it was Tina Wood. Ooh. And she wants to give out a special thanks to her parents and to her girlfriend, Rena. Well, you know, she did a lot of, uh, um, a lot of work for this one as well. Uh, very strong advocate. Trying to put it out there, trying to get as many ladies as possible to do the show. She was trying to recruit very harshly. Yeah. Well, she's left a six pin here for spare people. Let's see what happens. The hottest thing, in my opinion, can't be making a right single pin spare. Okay. Uh, unfortunately, we only had 11 women show up today, plus the queen returning, so that was 12. Uh, very disappointing number. Uh, I wish there was a lot more. But we'll do what we can do. That's it. Mm. Missed it again, so she's got eight. Yeah, we can't do what we do without the bowlers, and you know, unfortunately, there wasn't a lot of women bowlers uh, this time around. Um, it's sad because I know there's a lot of great women bowlers out there. Well, what's getting me is, you know, they wanted the show, they wanted a second chance at it, we gave it to them, and they still didn't show up. That's what's yeah. kind of irking me a little bit, but whatever. Well, the, ones that, the ones that did show up. We love you. Thank you for showing up and participating. Dennis, she just hits the head pin. Yeah. She takes out the one in the six fall and the three pin stays up. Oh. I have no idea how people. No idea how the. Is that 10 or a spare? Uh, 10. 10 minutes, yeah. She left the six and took, I mean, she left the three and took out the. Um, yeah, I was, I was trying to read a couple of yeah, I know. comments to get them done and out of the way. So I can get to the uh, Facebook Messenger ones. A lot of nice people out there commenting to us. We appreciate it. I'm loving it. it. Doesn't I know. Them. Yeah, yeah. It's just <laughs> too many. No, the more the merrier. Who? More the merrier, though. Try, try to get them as best we can. Come on, Andrew. Uh, Any controversial ones? I no, nothing yet. I've been reading them all. Nothing yet. Oh, you you want to restart it, David? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mind it to be honest with you because. <laughs> <laughs> I'm all for it, David. Whether you like it or you hate hey, it, you gotta yeah. learn to love it because it's Caleb Pin Bowling. Uh, you know? Mr. Wheels 1977 said, been watching since season one. Love the show oh. so much, watching from New Brunswick, Canada. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. A? Eh? Yeah. Six years, David, and counting, right? Canada, A? Eh? Six years and counting. So, six seasons. Yep. Bigger and better than ever. Okay, just stocked on up, lane number three, box number four, string number two, and found the head pin. Wow, and look at this, the, oh, another one, another five, another five, seven, eight. I think I would have uh, rather that pin stay. Yeah, I know. know. Even though it was double parallel pins, you probably had a better shot at it. I have no idea on this one. Same I'm going that one five times fast, double parallel pins. Double, no, yeah, good one, yeah. You can't say it. One, oh! Look at this, people. The five and the seven go, and the eight stays up. Dennis, tell me, how did that happen? Nothing. Touch it. Tell me, tell me, how did that one happen? I just did. It was the force field. <laughs> you, you need a hearing aid? Ken and Bowen. Unbelievable. Nick people. Lane compared me to Dick O'Connell. Dennis, that reminds me of Dick O'Connell when he said how he would convert a shot. The bull did it in a different way. To quote Dick O'Connell, he made a liar out of it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank yeah, you, Nick. Dick O'Connell, great candle pin bowler. Great candle pin bowler. All right, now I can get to the Facebook Messenger ones. <laughs> and give a shout-out to our sponsors, North End Mazda Subaru in Lundberg, Mass. Visit uh, buynorthend.com or visit them in person and see Marty Babineau's excellent sales staff on a new or pre-owned Mazda or Subaru. Also, type in YouTube, go to YouTube, type in Watch Me Suck at Bowling and see my good friend George do parodies on candle pin bowling, duck pin bowling, um, gaming, and of course, my daughter is actually, uh, enjoys watching his, some of his uh, uh, Minecraft stuff. Oh, oh beautiful shot. cut shot. 
one of her. She, one of her favorites. Yep. Perfectly thrown ball. And 10 pin bowling. Excellent, excellent shot by Jess Stockton. Nice shot. After four, just, uh, Andrea Padgington at 57, Jessica Stockton at 38 working on a spare. Jessica is down, uh, up, excuse me, up eight, uh, yeah, I, up 11 pins before the fill. I'm a mathematician. Dennis, where are you going with this? I'm going right at it, baby. Right, right side or left? Uh, dead on. Well, you got to make a Slap five. around. Oh. Wow. Geez, Andrew, hit, hit, hit a object and nothing happened. It might have been different if she had Look a little Look at Dennis, quickly, ball. point out to the people the six pins up, misspotted. Nice it actually, it, it, moved, it moved laterally. Probably. All that wood that was on the deck, yeah, probably yeah. pushed it around a little bit. Oh, nice ball in here. Ooh. Oh, wide right, though. Just missed. Thank you to Noah Hill for your comments on Facebook Messenger. Uh, hand off to you, Dave, and Steve for doing an excellent commentary, and to Travis for making the videos look amazing. Thanks again to all the help behind the scenes. Absolutely, Thank and that would be Amber, all the help behind the scenes. And uh, the OEPD. Here, there he is down there. He's smiling. He sees us. Uh, the names you hear, sometimes the voices you do, sometimes the voices you don't. You know? Special shout out to our friend Sarah, professional scorekeeper. Okay, we're just stocking up on lane number three, box number five. It's going to fill a spare. Shout out to Angela Paquette. I met her at the Worlds. Yep. Uh, great, great supporter of Candle Pin Bowling and, and our show from Halifax, Nova Scotia. And she sent a picture for C Steve to see how does that happen where the seven pin is actually tilted and standing up straight. Oh, oh wow. Broken, I could have seen this. Nice pin. Nice it's a broken pin. Yeah, but is it a down pin? No, I don't think it's a broken pin. I think they have like the set down pins where, where the pins go into the little holes, and I think it might be up on one edge. Oh, I think that's how it, that plays. But yeah, I, thank you, room. thank you so much for it. Oh, it's spare by Jessica. What, what was this um, person's name again? Angela. Angela. Thank you, Angela. I, I I'll agree. With you. I've never seen anything like that. Now he's gonna go. Around. Thanks, Angela, because now he's gonna ask everybody he sees. Have you ever seen that? Hey, I did. Is that part. a down pin? I did my part. I showed him. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. Well, back-to-back spins for Jess Stockton. Lane number four, cranking it up, throws it. A little wide left, drops five. Leaves the one, three, seven, nine, ten, some wood. This is going to be very, very difficult, people. Very, very difficult shot. Hit the head pin, see what happens. And if she's zeroing in on it, i got to give her credit. She's... Wow, is she gonna, oh, short pin spin. You know, Dennis, getting back quickly to what she showed me on oh, that pin. Oh. You have seen a seven or a 10 pin stand up Thanks, straight Angela. up without leaning to be up in the gutter. Yes. Yeah, it can happen, yeah. You yeah. saw it recently. Yep, it can happen. Okay, Steve, there's been a, there's been a lot of talk and comments on YouTube and uh, Facebook regarding. Um, what, chocolate covered eclairs? No, 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 it's, it's devil dogs. Devil dogs. Um, we were off a little bit, right? Just picking out the head pin on the first ball. You ever seen it? Once. I've seen it once. I've never done it, but I've seen it. Five Thank you. Have you ever seen it? I've done it. <laughs> oh, you've done it. Oh, I've done it myself. You didn't, yeah. I just had to check to make a score check. So uh, after six, Andrea Padgett at 75, Jessica Stockton at 72. Jess is, Jess is still leading by 28 right now. Okay. She made a big comeback. She was down only single digits for a low digit. She had two marks in a row. Okay, Andrea's got to turn it on. Let's see what happens. Found the hit there, it? Oh, I thought she had the hand. Great bid on you. Well, where are we? Oh, boy. Oh, I don't like this. I don't like this. Three pieces of wood. Oh, the Jersey barrier is up. Maybe. Come on, come on, Andrew. Oh. I knew it. Yeah. Yeah. It's, what the, it's, what it's one of those things where you have yep. to throw a really hard a ball. ball. Yep. Too much wood can kill you. Oh, whoa. Shout out to Terry Culp on Facebook. Thank you for all your kind words.
No, that was a killer. Uh, he wanted to know, would we allow someone who doesn't have a league average to go on a handicap tourney? No, we cannot. Uh, but you can bowl in the scratch tournament February 24th. Oh, but you know, people ask me that all the time. You know, um, hmm. well, I'll take the, I'll take the, the, the highest average. The, the high average right. part, like, that's unfair to you. Right, and it's, it just sets a pre bad precedent, so yeah. we, do, we can't do it. That's why we have the scratch one. Come down for the scratch if we don't have a league average. In February 24th. Come on down. Defeat Dave Godwin if you can. Yep, yep. Actually, I want to see a lot of pros show up for that one. I don't know who'd come out. We have to put put it out there to see sign-ups. Um, I hope we get a good turnout. That'd be really nice. Braden Lee Birdwell wants to know if we'd ever consider doing a uh, kids one, which I've been talking about. Oh, wow. Just that was unbelievable. She hit that perfectly, and the wood came up behind it and wow. just kissed the ten. And ten and fell, fell, down into, fell down into the pin pit. Uh, it lives in Haverhill, um, and I, like I said, I, I'd love to do a kid's ladder, but we need to have the Bulls' interest. So talk to all the um, youth Bulls you know, have them contact us, and if we can get a good list going, we'll start doing one for next season. Yeah. Okay, box number eight, lane number four, string number two, which have Stockton. Let's see what happens, and... Yeah. Held on to that one a little bit yeah, too long. Yeah, she knows it. It happens. Well, she got a little bit of cushion, so she can yeah. afford to have an errant ball once here and there. See what well, she can yeah. out of well, this she can throw the strike ball to get the spare. See what happens. Three-step approach. Drop the shoulder. Let it Ooh. go. Ooh. And that one. Ooh, too much overcompensation, I think, Dennis, on that one. All right. Shoot wow. foot. You all right? That was a big word. Uh, well, you know, overcompensation. Right. Overcompensated. In, the, in other words, she tried too hard. Just still sounds standing. like you were overserved. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, fly box out of that. Which are at 86 through 8, and Andrea yep. is at 92. So 25 pin lead for Jess going into the last two well, boxes. It's obvious to Andrea Karen, uh, Padgett, excuse me, needs a double mark. Shout out to our sponsors, North End Mazda Subaru in Lindbergh, Mass. Visit buynorthend.com. Go to YouTube, type in Watch Me Suck That Bowl, and you can see my friend George do parodies on Kendall Pin, Duck Pin, and yes, people, I said it, 10 Pin. Sign Epstein's mom. No, Andrea, needless to say, uh, needs Kevin, this. Uh, Andrea wants to give a shout out to you. Oh, yes, she made, excuse me, Dennis, David, made the spear excellent. Candle pin shot. She's going down swinging, that's for sure. Yeah. Andrea wants to give a shout out to her husband, Kevin, for encouraging her to do the King of the Palace. Queen uh, of the we don't need that. We, we don't Queen need of the Palace. She's the one that defeated the reigning, now former champ, Becca Vestal. Uh, uh, she also wants to say hello to her three year old and her six year old. Because well, they also bowl on a kids' league out of Masons. Um, Brooke and Marco. Needs a mark. Oh. Marco That's, was a huge fan of the King of the Palace. Where is he? Oh, I see him. There at he goes. At the age of three, he'll watch it and watch it and watch it. They've and been watch here it. for a while and they've been very well behaved. I got mm -hmm. my hats off to them. <laughs> my kids wouldn't be. Especially with dad watching them. Right? <laughs> so, uh, second string for Andrea was 115, which are a two string total of 213, which is not enough. Yeah. Just Stockton needs five pins to win. Congratulations. She already won. Congratulations to Jess for moving on and waiting in the wings. Oh, yeah, yeah. I misread it. Thank you, Dennis. I'm, and I'm waiting misread. in the wings, the number one seed, Miss Tina Ward. I'm looking forward to this match. Uh, uh, congratulations to Andrea, uh, Andrea Paddington, who. Um, you got to see throw her new high single a couple weeks ago. Um, spectacular bowling. I want to thank everybody out in YouTube land and on Facebook and local access as well as um, our sponsors, North End Mazda Subaru and Watch Me Suck at Bowling. We cannot do what we do without you, the viewer, the sponsors. And of course, we can't do what we do without our OEPD. Oh, okay. no, there he is. He's Travis behind Park. the scenes. He's down there. And Amber. Your assistant. She works hard. Yep, yeah, besides Epstein's mom. Special shout out to our good friend, if I can repeat, David, Marty Babineau. Yeah. Oh, oh look at pick this. Pick. How did, uh, can I say it, Dennis? How did that happen? Three pin pick, I should say. Wow. How can you take out? I, I know it's I've candle pin it. bowling. I've done that. I've taken out the three pin on the first ball, the two pin on the second ball, and had eight pins left for my third ball to come down. 
How does it happen, though? It's too cold. You got to throw the ball 60 feet at a certain angle. Down the to, alley. Down the alley. Hit your object. Nothing but net. I wonder what Marty Babineau would think of that. Not great. Uh, George, where's George? We're going to get Marty what's, in what's George think about that? Okay, what'd she finish with? Short pin you know, spin. Pin stop spinning. Mm -hmm. 104 string for Jessica. Put her at a two string total of 233. Jessica had six spares in one strike, and Andrea had three spares. Yeah, name of the game, the max. Okay. Con congratulations to both ladies. Thank you very much for tuning into the Queen of the Palace. Now, let's get to the 11th box and meet our winner with the nose. Welcome to the 11th box. I'm Dennis Nuzzo, staying here with this week's winner. Um, great scores, 129-104, 233 total. Uh, Jessica Stockton, great job. Thank you, thank you. Um, I know you were a little nervous going into the match because the way Andrew was bowling last week. Did you, that affect you in any way or did you just concentrate on the pins and say, I just got to bowl what I got to bowl? Yeah, I mean, when you're up there, it's all about you. It's not about what the other person's doing. You just got to worry about yourself and just hope for the best. Great advice, and uh, I know you work a lot with the youth bowlers. Um, we have the Rock and Bowl coming up, which I'm looking forward to. I look forward to it every year. You want to talk a little bit about that? Um, I mean, I don't know if we finalized the date yet. February but 25th. February 25th, yeah. So um, come out, Academy Lanes helps the kids go to Canada. So any little bit we get helps. If you've never done it before, it's the youth, uh, youth pro bowlers. I call them the youth pro bowlers because they're the future of the sport. Um, and we, we have a fundraiser every year to help raise money for the trip to Canada to bowl against Canadian kids because it's very expensive. It's like $500 a kid, and some, some parents actually have the two or three kids going. Uh, so we come down. It's a great time. The pros, we donate our time. We donate our money. Uh, you come down. We have great raffles, great time. has had by all. Bring the kids down by, please, anyone can bowl. So come on down February 24th, uh, excuse me, February 25th, uh, Academy Lanes in Haverhill. If you need more information, contact one of us or at Academy Lanes. Uh, and next week, I'm looking forward to this match. This is going to be a classic, uh, classic candle pins rematch of Tina Ward with a 646 roll-off score. And uh, I know you're looking forward to this. Mm, uh, that's an understatement. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll see you next week, and I'll see everyone then.